What's up, Facebook? I, um, it's May 15th. Moving season is officially here. I actually just got done with my Moving Mastery monthly members um, for a live cast that we do every single month for our members in a private uh, broad uh, live stream that we do where they get to ask me questions and we were talking about setting targets for moving season. I won't get too much into it. If you're interested in becoming a member of Moving Mastery, uh, go to movingmonthly.com. There's more information there. And uh, you know the cool part about it is I go live every month and I teach and train and coach our members and then they get to ask me questions on anything that they have going on in their business. Uh, and then all the replays are in their members area. So if it's something you're interested in, go to movingmonthly.com and check that out. But I wanna to talk to you today about are your employees or your team members, are they in the right position, right? You know, a lot of times we look at, you know, the people that we have on our team and we're, you know, we have good things to say, we have bad things to say, we have frustrations, um, you know, we have, we have pride in, in them doing a good job, but are they in the right position? And just because someone comes in, maybe you hired them as a salesperson, doesn't mean that that's the right position for them. You know, if we think about professional sports players, right? By the time they reach the pros, typically they are in the position that they're going to stay in while they're in the pros, and that's the reason that they're in the pros. But if we look at the journey for a lot of professional athletes, and you know, even, even athletes that make it to college, for example, and, and we look along the way, and you know, maybe there was, they were in Little League, right? And maybe in Little League, they had a coach that said, you know, I know you want to be a first baseman, but you know, you're really an excellent pitcher. We're going to develop you as a pitcher, right? Maybe they move on and now they're in, they're in high school and you know, someone's a, a wide receiver. They're like, I've been a wide receiver since flag football, right? That's my thing. I'm a wide receiver, but they have a good coach that recognizes that their talents lie deeper than being a wide receiver. And they say, you know what? You'd be a great quarterback, let's develop you as a quarterback, or whatever the case may be. I mean, there's you know hundreds of stories, probably thousands of stories of different athletes that along their journey to become excellent at what they do, to rise to be at that pro level, somebody recognized that the position they were in was not the position for them, right? So how does this apply to your business? Well, look at the people you have in your company now. Look at you know everybody, whoever you got, movers, um, salespeople, administrative, bookkeepers, uh, dispatchers, anyone, right? Are they in the right position? And a lot of times what we'll find if we, we kind of go through this exercise is that, you know, you might have someone that's like your best person, but they're being underutilized in the position that they're currently in, right? Even if they are, um, you know, for example, I have, you know, clients that have, you know, people that are in sales and are like, you know what, they're so good on the phone with customers. They're so good with, um, you, you know, their presentation is excellent, but they're just not closing deals, but they can handle any situation. I'm like, well, don't you need someone in customer service? Yeah, I do. Well, why find someone in customer service when you have the perfect person right there? who can talk to, you know, talk to your customers, who knows what to say, who represents your customer, uh, your company well, right? I mean, we were just, you know, in, in a few questions came up that were kind of similar in, in the live cast just now uh, for our members. By the way, if you want to get uh, live training, coaching, and mentorship from me every single month uh, as a member of our Moving Mastery monthly community and interact with other like-minded moving company owners who are looking to take their business to that next level and you just kind of need someone to kind of help keep you on track and making sure that you're focusing on the right things, go to movingmonthly.com, check that out, uh, all the information's there. But you know, the point of today's uh, video is that you probably have some people working for you right now that aren't being utilized to their potential. And they may even be in totally the wrong position, right? Um, you know, maybe you hired someone as a, as a customer service manager, but turns out they would be, you know, great in, in bookkeeping or HR, whatever the case may be. So here's, here's what you need to do for today. 
take a look at everyone you have in your business, right? And, and you could even, you know, take a look at some movers, right? You might have some movers that, you know, might be ready to move into a position in the office. You might have some on-site sales uh, people that are going and doing on-site estimates. Maybe they're really fit for business development. They could go out and round up, you know, uh, your, your referral network and start to build that for you. Take a look at who you have. And you don't have to make an adjustment right away, but like any good coach, uh, you know, coaching any type of sport, you know, you're looking to recruit and a lot of the recruitment can come from within. And don't just take someone at face value. And this, and this includes during an interview. Somebody comes in for an interview for one position, you're sitting there, you're looking at them, you're talking to them, you're like, they'd be perfect for that position. Don't be afraid to offer them that position, to tell them about that position, right? Too many times we've got people in the wrong position and, and this is something that helped me a lot over the years, a lot. You know, pretty much every top person I had in my company with the exception of a few started off in one role and it was usually a lower level role and I recognized something in them and I essentially pulled them aside and started to mentor them to be able to go in another direction, right? And my company was built based on this, on this method of saying, you know what, let me identify who would be the right player to fill each position that I already have and let me not be afraid to move them around, right? The more you move someone around within the company, and, and I'm not saying make it a practice of like constantly move people around to where their heads spin, However, you know, if they were, they used to do this role and now they're doing this role, as they learn more areas, they become more and more valuable to you and to the business. And the more strong team members you have, the quicker and the bigger and the better you're gonna be able to scale and grow your business, right? So again, make a list, who do you have? what position would they be better in? And you don't have to make that change today, but just start to kind of watch them, right? But you know, they'd actually make a really good GM, right? And it could be somebody right now that you're fed up with. <laughs> it could be somebody right now that you're like, look, they're just not cutting it, right? But maybe they're not cutting it because they're in the wrong position, right? You don't want to make somebody, you know, into try to force them to be the best running back when they could be an excellent defensive end, right? In other words, you want to make sure that you've got them in the right position. It's so important as you start to scale, right? Because, you know, why, why just go, I've got this position filled, now I need to fill these slots. Well, if you can make an adjustment and you can make a shift and you can make a change, right? And you definitely want to start looking at everyone that you have working for you and saying, how could I mentor this person? How can I help them develop professionally to become better so that they become a, a, a stronger asset for me in the business? I can help, it helps me and it helps them. Never be afraid to take somebody under your wing, to mentor them, to coach them, to show them what you need in your business. A lot of people won't do that because they're afraid. They're like, you know, they may go out and start their own business. I don't want to teach them too much. I don't want them to know too much. And you know what? It may happen once in a while. But if you limit yourself with that, you know, fear and that scarcity mentality, you'll never get to the level you want to go. All right? So make a list. See who should be in, you know, which positions. Move them around as necessary to make sure you've got the right people, especially right now before season. You're probably doing some hiring. You're probably looking to do some training. Take a step back and instead of just looking at this person as they're the sales manager, say, well, you know what? Right now, I really need an operations manager. I really need someone to handle this, 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 and this for me. They'd be the perfect person for it, okay? And then start making arrangements to see if they could do that plus, you know, their old position plus their new position or get somebody else to take over their new position. Never be afraid to make swaps in positions, all right? Be that coach that recognizes that young player early on that says, you know what? You'd be much better off as a wide receiver. I know you've got your heart set on being a quarterback, but you'd be much better off. Come with me, let me show you, let me help cultivate and mentor you so you could be the best wide receiver there is. And guess what? It's gonna help them, it's gonna help you, 
get to that next level. All right. So listen, go to movingmonthly.com. Check out how we could work together every single month and I could help mentor you and coach you to get to that next level in your business and keep you on track of where you need to be. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Go out there every single day, profit in your business, thrive in your life. I'll see you next time.